pretty decent i have to be said um probably like i've mentioned before in a previous pod easily my best mood i've been in post uh, during the pandemic um definitely the best the the best i've felt during the entirety of lockdown physically and both mentally even though i'm still kind of slowly but surely getting this weight off my body this added weight that i kind of piled on during lockdown which i promised myself i'm never going to do again i was doing a fairly good you know routine prior to lockdown and you know it happens it goes off the rails you know no more excuses need to be said about it but i'm, I'm getting the job done and even though i'm not where i need to be i'm not where my goal you know uh, what my goal is kind of i'm still feeling great man honestly you have to be honest i'm still feeling amazing mentally and this predominantly has to do with going to the gym that's been the real game changer having something to really kick my ass and get myself out of bed for you know because obviously work does that but still when you're working from home and you're working off your laptop you know you just end up just getting up at you know the closest time you can to you actually having to start your shift but when you have to go to a gym you have to account for the time of you waking up getting ready brushing your teeth whatever having a shower having some break you have to account for all that stuff you can't just get up and roll in and start working um so that's a bit of a chore in itself and obviously when you go in the morning you want to make sure you're bright and early you're, you're awake and you're ready to go so that also impacts the time that you sleep so it's definitely a net positive all around and again man i just i love having structure i love having some sort of discipline time schedule thing that i have that I kind of have to abide by i always come you know as much as i can say that i'm a free spirit creative deep down or free spirit creative on the surface i think deep down i do favor having some strict parameters that i can basically work within and then from there i can go a bit crazy and freestyle and get a bit creative but i need a guidebook i need some i need some uh, guide rails that's what i need and then once i have the guide rails i can just keep going do you know what i mean i don't stop i don't stop i need those guide rails and just having the gym has really been a game changer it's even got me running outside more than i was prior you know i completely sacked that off completely during the entirety of lockdown so having you know that kind of be turned back on again that desire to get back on the road and start slowly but surely into my mileage up because i mentioned in another pod you know i was doing easily minimum of like 20 miles per week um some weeks and sometimes the lowest i'd be doing is like 10 and you know as soon as the pandemic hit it went down to complete zero so i'm having to build up that base again which is so difficult i've mentioned it so many times on here already but there's nothing you know taking a break from going to the gym is one thing i think you can probably gain back your strength or your ability to just lift something to a certain height or your muscle memory whatever it is there, there is a quicker adaptation when it comes to getting back in the rhythm of lifting weights but when it comes to getting back in the rhythm of running outside on concrete in the streets or in the park oof it takes a long time and you're really gonna have to go through it. and i'm feeling it at the moment where the first 10 minutes are a slog then you get to like the 800 meter mark and you start to kind of level out a bit then you get to the one mile mark and you're starting to feel a bit good then you have that little bit of a dip after the second mile and then you pick back up again at the third like you have these weird you know ups and downs or your mind's going a bit dizzy and you feel like you know stopping after 10 minutes but then you just keep fighting through it and then eventually you get to the point especially when you finish where you're like oh my god i'm so happy i did that so i need to get over that hump which has been a, a, a consecutive thing that's been that's been a constant thing running through my head obviously because you know i'm not at the necessarily i'm not at the necessary fitness levels to make it fun at the moment but once that gets there you know it'll be good some people would argue what i'm doing now is fun seeing me you know trudge along the street panting with my hay fever chest nah not the funnest but yeah definitely feeling the best i felt in a while so happy for that and really grateful actually especially because next week the gyms run where i live um are meant to be reopening back to the normal scheduled time so now i have to go around eight because that's when it opens and i try to get there exactly eight at the door so i can get on the machines and bang out and get back home enough time for work and stuff but from about next week tuesday i think we're going to be able to go to the gym from like 6 a.m onwards which is a game changer obviously there's some gyms in the area that are like 24 hours but i don't want to change i'm already setting my ways in terms of where i go it's a short distance from where i where i live i can walk there in like 10 minutes basically and yeah man 
having open at six is a complete game changer it means effectively you get a you know a, a kind of a um you get to squeeze some more hours out in a day waking up at you know 5 30 heading to the gym coming back by about seven i've got a clean couple of hours to just do what i want inter uninterrupted in the mornings it's just heavenly absolutely heavenly so i can't wait for that to get started and yeah man, i'm just thankful i could be honest because there's a rough that 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 period just before christmas oof that was a difficult one especially when we got that little bit of false hope from good old boris about those five days that we didn't really want but then when it came close when it kind of got close to the day everyone was like you know what we should we should probably shouldn't be taking these five days as a break but considering how bad it's been and considering how bleak our outlook is looking in terms of the future let's just take it and have fun as much as we can on christmas you know during the christmas celebrations and then we can kind of you know get back to the drawing board in a new year but luckily you know some adults entered the room and you know um and decided that hey maybe we should crap scrap those five days because that might actually set us back a long term so just imagine where we would have been if we would have took those five days before christmas just imagine so yeah it's a good time to be alive